Hey guys, Double R, March 19th. Uh, just now getting back in the garage after a long trip out of town for work. And uh, like I said, today I've gotten back and it took me a while to get out here. Uh, it's a little late in the day. Twenty after one, just about, and trying to figure out where I left off on the project, and maybe get a little bit done today. And I was looking at the project, and looks like what I'm, we're going to be working on is fixing some of those holes around the inner fender well, the passenger side. So tomorrow's the first day of spring. Okay, guys, been doing some prep work here and uh, just about ready to fire up the welder and uh, repair a little bit of this damage. I think some of this damage I caused when I was actually removing this package tray extension, uh, the uh, spot well cutter, sometimes, you know, it leaves those little circles and uh, some, sometimes I go a little too far with it. So let me show you the car. That's the area right there that I think I caused when I removed that uh, original one. Which I'll, I'll weld some of that up. Probably won't matter once I put the new, new piece back on it. But you can see, like right there where I've got my half circle, it actually came through the, the base metal. Of course, that's just where it tore. The rest of it looks okay. There is a little hole there, and uh, it was, I dug that out. It was, I think it had seam seal or something in it. It's kind of weird. I hadn't seen that on the uh, repos that I've got. So I'm hoping I'm gonna be okay on these wheelhouses, though, the outer ones. But. Right there's the damage area, and I've got it marked with tape on how I'm going to try to cut it. And then I've got some holes here to fix as well. So that's what I'm up to. Just trying to get motivated again. Get back into it here. So when I go to bake that patch, I'm a little worried right in there. It looks like I've still got some, some rust. So I've got to address that before I weld all that in, I guess. But just a little quick uh, video update and uh, we'll be back. Okay, we're getting some of the holes filled up here. It's, uh, it's going kind of slow, but it's moving along. I tell you, this, some of this stuff takes a long time to do. But uh, let's take a look at the car. As you can see, got all the holes filled there, and got one more to do right there beside that one hole. I did one right in there, and then I've got that rock cut out right there. So, like I said, it, it takes a little bit to do this, I and mean, you wouldn't think it'd be take that long but if you do it try to do it to where nobody can tell you've been there it's it takes a while but the underside's turning out really good here which is really what you'll see but it don't have to be perfect like I said right here is where they spot welded that bracket and you can see how it's deformed right in there uh, and some of this, I don't know what I'm going to do on the inside of this just yet. Uh, once I get to that stage, I don't know if I'm going to do a, a bed liner or, or something under here. So it'll cover a lot of this. So, but. 
So we got two more to do. Okay guys, the holes are filled on the inner passenger quarter panels. A uh, lot of work just in that little bit of damage that I did taking these package tray extension off. So, and it was some rust there too. So let's take a look at the car. Overall, pretty happy with the way it turned out. There's where all our holes was. Got good solid metal there now. Take a look at the underside. This is the hard part right here, just the welding and the grinding underneath. Let's see if I can get this thing to focus. No more holes really. There's a few little places right in here, but that's where the spot welds was to the bracket that the uh, rear seat falls on. Like I said, I don't know how much of that you're gonna see, but it needed to be fixed. And I put a patch in right in this area all that i cut all that out put new metal in a lot of work it's a hard area to get to a lot of crawling around no matter where you go on this panel it's in a tight spot so i've been crawling around now probably about four four and a half hours on it so at least that part's done uh, next time, next video, we'll start fitting the package tray extension. And like I said, here's the here's the original. It fits pretty good. We'll probably have to dolly dolly some of this out and, and uh, dolly this flange out here. That'd be the actual fun part when you actually start putting parts back on the car. This. The stuff I was doing today, it, it need to be done, but it's boring as I'll get out. But it's just it's just work at this point. So, but I'm glad that it's done. I got a I got a mess to clean up, so I'll get this mess cleaned up and get this video uploaded, and uh, maybe this weekend, hopefully, I can make a little bit more progress. We'll talk to y'all later.